Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the potential for significant cold and significant snow once again. And things are now really looking more and more interesting day on day. And now we kind of do have a fairly good idea on some of the key questions about this cold spell. So where it will snow, um, kind of how long it will be cold for, that kind of thing. Uh, and we'll start off here with this graphic which I just quickly made, which is kind of showing the areas at risk of snow for next week. And you can see that really all of the UK and Ireland is under a general risk kind of, of snow during next week. And that kind of means that at any point there could be uh, snow showers or some sort of uh, low pressure or trough that develops and brings uh, some snow with it, potentially quite a lot of snow in places. So that's kind of if you're anywhere in the blue region, which I think almost everyone is. I mean, I don't know if you're watching this video from abroad, but basically everyone in the UK and Ireland um, will be seeing the potential for snow next week. Doesn't mean everyone will get it, but the potential is there for everyone. And then within these blue regions, we have the higher risks of snow, basically across parts of Ireland, uh, Northern Ireland, Wales, and especially Northern Scotland. That's where we're likely to see snow showers um, piling in, possibly quite heavy and frequent, but those areas uh, doesn't mean it's going to get more snow, it's just the areas which we have better confidence on saying that there will be snow. Just to illustrate my point quickly, we'll look at the UKV run from this morning, it's not updated yet. Show you the upper air temperatures, this is about 1,500 metres into the atmosphere. And you can see by Tuesday we get this initial push of cold air coming down from the north and then we get properly cold air minus 10 or minus 11 uh, um, kind of at 1.5 kilometers into the atmosphere pushing down quite far south as well and what happens as that cold air moves over the moist and warm sea uh, what happens is we get snow showers starting to form from that instability and if I show you the precipitation you can see by Tuesday constant heavy frequent snow showers initially across northern Scotland and then uh, we have snow showers into parts of Ireland, Northern Ireland, and then even into Wales as well. And you can see those showers remaining. Uh, if I show you the snow depth, this is potential. We could be looking at potentially a few centimetres along northern coasts, possibly across parts of northeastern England, uh, Wales as well, and then especially northern Scotland. I think we've got a Met Office yellow warning out still. Personally, wouldn't be surprised to see that graded to amber as we've got just a constant feed of showers, possibly 10 to 20 centimetres in places. If I show you the broad so kind of setup, which is bringing the cold, I won't go into it too much because you probably know uh, by now by watching these videos. But you can see high pressure centered over Greenland. The wind flows clockwise around high pressure along these isobars, uh, which are lines of equal pressure. And you can see this is Monday. You can see tomorrow uh, we have the wind flowing like this along these ice bars down from the north and we have this low pressure here with a cold front uh, and behind that cold front we have much cold air uh, coming into the UK so you can see we have that really cold air this dashed red line that kind of marks where we have kind of significant cold air and where snow is almost guaranteed not guaranteed but if rain falls it will fall of snow uh, and then you can see we have that really cold air pushing in behind with that proper cold northerly high over Greenland all the usual mild weather is pushed to our south and you can see we get proper these kind of troughs which would bring areas of enhanced snow and that's by Wednesday so we could be looking at kind of a, a cold northerly flow all week uh, by kind of Tuesday Wednesday if we look at some of the models we'll start off here with the GFS model you can see we have that initial northerly push now almost guaranteed by Tuesday the signal's really consistent that we're going to have this kind of pushing in by Tuesday. You can see if I show you on other models, for example, the European model, same thing. Uh, we have that cold front. You can kind of see it could bring some snow in places. Uh, as you can see on the GFS, bring snow all the way down into southern England. That's a possibility on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, we have snow. So then we get so snow showers starting to pile in, especially across uh, Ireland and Northern Ireland and Northern Scotland. And you can see another cold front kind of pushing through. And then we have these areas of low pressure, these mesoscale or smaller scale weather features where there will be enhanced areas of snowfall. And you see this is lasting all the way from end of Tuesday all the way into kind of Sunday. We have high confidence on at least this period being cold. If I show you the upper air temperatures, Remember, same thing, 1.5 kilometres. You can see by Tuesday we get that minus 5, probably cold air pushing down, that minus 10 air reaching parts of northern Scotland as well. And you can see those blues, those dark blues, purples, really indicating where that cold air is with these kind of low pressure centres bringing local areas of heavier snowfall. It's a bit too early to guarantee uh, where those heavier areas would be, but anywhere 
across um, the UK and Ireland could see one of these lows like that bringing in an area of snow and on top of that we're going to have constant snow showers especially across northern Scotland uh, and northern Ireland like that um, graphic I mentioned earlier. So you can see we have consistent agreement on all big three models that we're going to get this type of thing. Snow showers, possibly a band of snow moving southwards on Thursday. That's definitely a possibility. I would kind of keep an eye out on that. And then those constant snow showers, probably cold air. Uh, lasting with good confidence now up until Saturday, Sunday. Uh, we have that low pressure there again. And you can see now all models, uh, GFS, European, all showing the same thing. I am... Uh, uh, the Canadian model all showing the same thing until uh, kind of Sunday, Monday. So we almost have a guaranteed week of cold northerly air with snow chances across all of the UK. Though it doesn't mean it's guaranteed everywhere, that's worth noting. And then we do get a little bit more uncertainty. What happens, I'll go to the North Atlantic, is we have this low here on Saturday. And some of the past GFS runs, interestingly, were massively developing this into a hurricane kind of crazily. And what that meant is that we had the remnants of a kind of subtropical hurricane moving into the UK, bringing mild air. I mean, let me just show you, that makes it easier. You can see we have this crazy storm develop and then move into the UK, bringing much milder air by next week, which was going to break the cold spell. You can see, there we go. But then now on the latest model runs, what looks like will happen is that low does develop still, but instead of kind of getting rid of all the cold air in the UK, what happens is it stays to the south. And interestingly, on this last GFS run, look what happens. That low backs away, uh, develops, but then it backs away. It's pushed down by that strong high pressure, and we get more northerly airflow. And on this particular model run, incredibly, we get snow, or sorry, cold air, the entire model run, which really, which is really quite crazy. Uh, a crazy blizzard on the end of it as well. That's just for fun, though. I mean, let's just check it out for fun. This is one of the potential scenarios that we do get some sort of low pushing up from the south like that bringing a lot of snow it's not guaranteed far from guaranteed but what happens when we get these these northerly air flows just like the gfs is saying what happens is occasionally we get these lows when we're kind of moving through the channel in northern france which bring the precipitation bumping into the cold air and developing uh, significant snowstorms so if i was in southern england I'd be checking the updates to see if that occurs. If I was in northern areas, I'd be looking for snow shower potential. You can see continued potential along northern and northeastern coast through basically the entire uh, next two weeks of December. That's looking quite likely now. And then if I was kind of just through general areas of the UK, we're looking for small kind of small low pressure systems, kind of like this, small scale lows, kinks in the ice bars, troughs, which are hard to see on these global models, but they do bring uh, significant snow in places. Let's see if we can find any on like this kind of thing. We're just they're not very evident in the main models, but they do appear and they do bring snow. So that's kind of the the main outlook at the moment. If we just check on that low, you can see European model had a similar thing. Low didn't quite get as far north. Um, though if you look at the latest model output, because that European model was from this morning, we can see now the GEM, the Canadian model, does develop this quite strongly, but can tell that the high pressure oh well that that's really unrealistic to have that kind of warm air but you can see the high pressure is kind of keeping its ground so it does look quite likely that the cold is going to persi persist if you sorry into uh, the kind of the second week of december if i show you the ensembles let's try and get the latest ones i'm not sure if they've updated but you can see here ensembles we're looking for the line to be close together for high confidence and well that's quite a big change now really actually significant uh, this is for, actually let's go to London first and we'll do Edinburgh. You can see we have the lines close together for all of, sorry, let's just wait for it to load. Oh no. Wow, this is a big, big upgrade in the latest model output. Basically before we got, we have so really good confidence now on cold snow conducive air from the 7th to the 13th of December now. Look at how tightly packed each of those ensemble members are, showing there is a lot of of certainty in that forecast and then there's a slight kind of more slight ever so slight mild trend towards the end and there's a few kind of mild outliers but notice how it really stays consistently cold on the ensembles up until the 13th 14th of december if i show you the six o'clock run sorry 
if I show you the 6 o'clock run, look how by the 13th, things had really started to turn more mild. And I mean, we might see that signal again, but now we do have agreement. We can kind of say quite clearly now, we do have agreement for basically a whole week. Uh, the whole week, starting kind of around the 7th till the 13th, it will be cold. And every day of that week, we have the potential for snow showers, small areas of low pressure, bringing the risk for snow. So this is generally anywhere in the UK has a shot at seeing snow next week. Quite an exciting time. Uh, if I show you the, put the new snow, let's see if this has got any kind of signal for snow. You can see we do have a signal for snow, potentially uh, a few snow events in the forecast is for London, especially around kind of the 10th of 11th of December. If we show uh, the, uh, what's it called, Edinburgh, you can see probably got a better signal. Just wait for this to load. In the meantime, I'll show you the icon model. You can see icon model has similar to the GFS kind of slack low, still quite a lot of snow potential. If I show you the GFS ensemble mean, let me just update that. You can see this is a really incredible mean, very high confidence now with low pressure to the east of the UK, cold northerly flow and that kind of potential for some snow events across southern England. But really all of the UK has a shot of seeing snow the next week, quite an exciting time. And we do really have the potential. Uh, so enhanced risk of snow showers in northern coasts and possibly Wales. And then those small scale features bringing snow as well. So let's just check. Okay, good signal again for Edinburgh. Potential for snow all the way through kind of into the middle of December. So if you're a cold fan, it's looking really promising. Quite an exciting time. Hopefully the energy bills don't get too bad. But like I said, kind of through the whole video, risk of snow anywhere through the UK. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great evening.